Hi, this is Ron, and we're talking about uh, MEN220 microphone placement for Room Perfect. This would also work for the MX150. Your first measurement needs to be back where you sit between the two loudspeakers with the microphone pointing at the loudspeakers. So if I sit next to this, we want to arrange the mic stand so it's approximately my head height when I'm sitting. When we do a series of measurements in the back of the room, we want to stay in the back two-thirds of the room. Uh, these measurements should be random. You shouldn't be right up against a wall, but we want to measure high. I can even make this a little higher than that. Uh, if you've got a very tall ceiling, we would like to see some measurements up close to the ceiling. You may have to put the mic on a chair or a table. Uh, this will be our first position microphone measurement. It usually takes five or six in a room with MEN 220 with two speakers and a two-channel system. This is an example of a low mic measurement. I'm doing this one in the rear of the, of the room here. And it's important that we take measurements uh, midway up the walls, low like this, and up by the ceiling. I placed the microphone stand up here on the, on the table. So, and the microphone's pointed at this large plate glass window. This is a good technique for room measurements so the MEN can gain room knowledge and it will see this big reflective surface which has a lot of character to the sound in the room. So this is another technique for measuring room knowledge. We're taking an additional focus position measurement, and the original focus position was out here in the room between the two speakers, and I've set the microphone up high to simulate someone standing off to the side in the back of the room. So you would call this focus position number two. As you take your additional focus position measurements around the room, they will be focused, and you can switch to that position for the very most intimate sound, or you can blend them all together if you have a lot of people in the room. One of the really neat things about MEN 220 is that if you change the furniture in the room, say you love your new stereo so much that you go out and you buy a big leather sofa and some, some reclining chairs, you don't start over with your measurements. As long as the speakers aren't moved, you simply put the microphone in the back of the room and take two, one or two additional uh, room measurements and it will rewrite all the filters to reflect your new furnishings so you don't have to start over. MEN 220, just to bring it all together here, is about adjusting your speakers to the dimensional characteristics of your room so the speakers sound like where the engineer designed them back at the speaker level. And uh, of course our rooms are never like the room where the, where the engineer entered the, engineered the speaker MEN 220 can often bring us right back to that point by adjusting the peaks and valleys of your room with your speakers to reflect their original sound.